We don't need your corporate greed. We don't need your seed control. We don't need your corporate greed. We don't need your seed control. I'm Elizabeth Henderson. I'm an organic farmer and I'm on the board of the Northeast Organic Farming Association of New York. And we are here in the march against Monsanto because we believe that genetically modified foods need to be carefully tested before they're unleashed on the unwitting public. But for 20 years people have been eating genetically modified corn and soybeans that are heavily treated with Roundup, which mean, has its main ingredient, glyphosate. It's an herbicide that's now being used on millions of acres, so that by now it's in the bloodstream of just about everybody in this country. And although we don't know whether the GMO foods themselves are dangerous to us, there's a tremendous amount of evidence that ingesting glyphosate is not good for us. Um, Monsanto makes out the case that Roundup is less dangerous than, um, than, the, than the other herbicides, but it, it's still a very dangerous chemical to have in our weather and in our air. What would your response be to the claim by some of these companies that without GMOs we can't produce enough food to feed humanity? Well, that's a really bogus claim. First of all, there are millions of acres in GMO foods right now in the United States, mainly corn and soybeans, and we're not feeding humanity. In fact, uh, the yield from GMO varieties has gotten less than the very best non-GMO varieties. And the way to feed the world is to put a small por portion of the investment that's been put into genetic modification into the small integrated farms. Seventy percent of the food that's currently being produced by small-scale farmers, mainly women, all around the world who use organic methods. And their farming could be improved so that they could feed their families and their communities. There have been studies by United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. There have been reports by Olivier de Schuter, who's the rapporteur on hunger for uh, the United Nations, that the way to solve world hunger is to help develop the small farms all over the world. Uh, NOFA calls for the labeling of GMOs in New York State. We're part of a, of a coalition that includes Food and Water Watch, Consumer Union, the Sierra Club, NIPER, and other organizations, and they're all working very hard to get GMO labeling in New York State. There's legislation that's now in the Assembly and in the Senate, and there is a chance that if we all really push hard and call our state Assembly people and Senators this week, that we can get that legislation passed in New York State this year. Member of Metro Justice, environmentalist, vegan, and um, organic. Um, the main reason that I am here in this international protest against Monsanto is to speak about the farmers, the migrants who are forced with their young children and their families to work the fields that are sprayed with Monsanto's pesticides every day and are breathing in and going through their skin and being poisoned by Monsanto. There were several pregnant women and people who have died from the Monsanto pesticides and they're poisoned every day that they were. They also have their small children ages 8 and up working in the fields. So they are also being poisoned by the Monsanto pesticides. Um, migrant workers are working under horrible conditions every day and being poisoned by Monsanto pesticides every minute of every day.
I, I have business cards for GMO Free Rochester. If no one's heard of us, we can uh, you can find information about local local issues, GMOs. We're following the the labeling bill that would label them. And I have a petition on here. Actually, it's more important that you contact your reps directly. Anybody who wants to sign the petition can come see me. But um, even more important is to contact your reps. They need to hear from you directly. Yes. Senator Robach is a co-sponsor. I asked him a year ago if he co-sponsor it. And he said, yeah. So that's really great. He's our local rep. Um, Assemblyman Morelli is the Senate Majority Leader. He's a really important guy. And he's not really on board with GMO labeling. We all need to let him know what we think of that, what, that we want GMO labeling. It's really important that he gets on board, that he hears from us, because he's definitely hearing from the industry. <laughs> If you yeah. want to really avoid eating genetically modified foods, eat organically grown food from a local farmer. But we should be able to get all genetically modified foods labeled so that you have the choice of the full range of foods. And there is misinformation campaign that's being sponsored by the Grocery Manufacturers Association and the big... Uh, you know, alcohol producers and the Farm Bureau who will tell you that it's going to cost you from $400 to $800 a family a year to label GMOs. This is misinformation. Companies change their labels regularly. All they have to do is add, this is made with genetically modified organisms. Then if you choose not to eat it, then it may cost the money to reformulate the food. But that is not from the labeling. That's because you want to know and you want to avoid it. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.